Okay, um, hi everyone. Um, I'm Tazro Ote, and today I'm going to introduce you Sapporo, which is an implementation of workload execution service um, developed under the standard developed by the, the Global Alliance for Genomics and Health. And I'm going to give you a live demo uh, to tell you how to deploy Sapporo on your computer. So this is this is the GitHub repository of Sapporo service. So Sapporo has two components, and one is the, the Sapporo service, which gives you uh, the API server. And another one is Sapporo Web, uh, is the web-based GUI to control the workloads running on the REST API. So first I'm going to deploy the, the Sapporo service and just using the Docker Compose. So here uh, is a clone repository of the Sapporo service and simply run Docker Compose app will give you the Sapporo API running on local host one port one one two two. So you can access the, the the API server by using the call command and local host one one two two. And the basic endpoint of the REST API is uh, the service info which gives you uh, the, the information of the REST server. And okay, I'm going to prettify the response here. And you can see the, the spotted workload runners and the spotted workload types, and also the uh, configurations of the REST API server. And so it's, it's very easy to deploy the Sapporo uh, on your computer, just using the Docker and the Docker Compose and it, it, you you can now start using the REST API here. So I'm going to show you how to uh, post the, the, the request to run the workload. So you will need a URL of the workload file. So I'm I'm going to use the, the CWL workload here um, published on the GitHub. And this workload is very simple. Just download the .sra file from the sequence read archive and decompress to fastq by using the parallel fastq dump command. And it, it will um, require three inputs. There, there are the IDs of the sequence read archive data and also the threads and the repository and the, the source repository. So um, I have, um, describe these inputs in uh, a JSON format and workload parameters.json and if you can see the run ID and the repository from EBI and the threading the four threads for CPU cores. And also you can um, specify the, the parameters for the, the workload engine, which uh, this time I'm going to use the suitable to. So um, I can um, specify any um, options to uh, the workload runner, but I, this time I'm not, I'm not going to specify any uh, additional parameters. So the, this JSON file is empty. And those, um, and I also need another JSON file called uh, named the tags.json, uh, which, which describes the, the, the options for the REST API. And this time I'm going to um, use the, the S3 uh, object storage as a destination of the output files. So here I, uh, put the, the locations and the credentials um, of the of the object of storage. So this time I'm, I'm using the play.minio, which is the, the publicly available testing server. So um, I'm going to use the, the coral common to post these um, parameters. 
So the workflow URL is the GitHub URL and the workflow type CWO version 1.0 and the parameters in from the JSON file and the workflow engine name should be CWO2 and text.json and the endpoint is edit to be local hash 122 slash once. And you can hit the enter key to run the workflow and it will give you back the run ID, which is the, the ID of this workflow runs on the, the rest of the with API server. So um, the, you can um, request the, the status of the workflow runs by using the call command, so local host 122 runs. So this same method is get. So and uh, predefine the response here. So, okay, so it gives you back the, the response JSON object. And uh, so here you can see the state is still running. And here you see the, uh, the standard error output from the suitable tool here. And it's still running. And I think it will soon finish. Not yet. Okay. Huh. It's taking time. So um so the the West API is defined so the endpoint details are defined in this uh, the swagger UI and so let's say the service info and the git runs and the past runs and also you can uh cancel or uh, just get the status of the workflow runs and see if the worker is finished. Okay, so here you uh, see the state is complete. So um, the, the output files, this time the fastq files should be output on the object storage. So I'm going to check the, the testing server here. And here you can see the workflow, uh, the support demo output directory, and you can see the, the downloaded FASCA files are here. So this is the basic behavior of the, the Sapporo service. And next, I'm going to uh, show you about uh, the, the GUI, web GUI to manage the workflow lines and uh, on the other web API. So, um, so you, first, you need to register the workflow uh, web API. So, this time, Sapporo demo, and the endpoint is localhost 122 HTTP localhost. And you can uh, you can see the register the uh, the with endpoint uh, with the, the supported local engines and local languages, and you can now register the workers to run on this web rest endpoint. So I'm going to uh, register the workload which I used on the command line, and download SRA and the URL should be here, the same, oh no, sorry. Uh, so it should be the raw URL, so raw up GitHub content thing here, and you, you put you can put the, the URL here and you submit, and then the support web, uh, support web will generate uh, the web form to input the parameters for this uh, workload. So here you can see the, the, the content of the suitable files, and so here you can input the, the parameters for this workflow run. So um, this time I'm going to use the CW2 again, and I'm going to use the, the same tag which I used in the command line here to uh, export the output to the, the test object storage. And I'm going to fix a little bit here, West demo, and uh, the workload parameters should be the same. And workload parameters, okay. And the force threads ABI, okay, that's it. And uh, quickly execute, and you will see the the status of the workload. And so the basically, uh, so this is the um, I'm. I'm doing the very same thing which I already did on on the command line by using this uh, the web uh, web web UI, and 
but this is really uh, useful for the users who don't want to uh, log into the server or to hit uh, write the, the program or the hit the command line. Um, so you can you can deploy your uh, the workload execution service on your computer and then they use this GUI to um, allow your colleagues or uh, the collaborators to run the, the workloads, run your workloads on your computer by using this GUI. And I think it's complete, okay. And the uh, logs, so the command line used uh, on to run your workloads shown here and a standard output and a standard error is shown up here. And I'm going to check the, the object storage see if the output is here okay here it is so that's it so um so this is how to deploy the, uh, the support and uh, how to use the, the web gui to uh run workload um so we have been developing uh the support for years and uh, we still have bugs and uh, we still uh keep improving the the product so please try to use Sapporo and uh, um, tell us uh, how you think. And uh, if you wanted to have any additional functions or the features, just let us know. And also feel free to um, send a pull request to the product. And that's it. Thank you very much.